and a big day for ex-state Supreme Court Justice Diane Hathaway. Seven investigator Ross Jones is live in our newsroom with the very latest on this, Ross. Good afternoon, Glenda. After 282 days in federal custody, Diane Hathaway is a free woman. The ex-Supreme Court Justice spent Thanksgiving, Christmas and Easter behind bars, but she is home now, just in time for Memorial Day. Hathaway was sent to prison after pleading guilty to bank fraud, a scheme exposed by 7 Action News that showed she hid assets from her bank, like this waterfront Florida home, while she was trying to convince them she couldn't afford her Gross Point Park mortgage. Hathaway was sentenced to one year and one day in federal prison, but had 54 days shaved off her sentence for good behavior, plus a 36-day credit for time she could have served in a halfway house. The Bureau of Prisons didn't want to send her there, though, because Hathaway could have been spending time with someone she had sentenced. In total, Hathaway had about 90 days taken off her total sentence, which her attorney, Steve Fishman, said is completely routine. The ex-justice served her time in West Virginia's Camp Cupcake, an all-women federal facility that's been compared to a college campus. So Hathaway will be in home detention for the next 36 days. It's not clear what's next for her after that. She is 60 years old and gave up her law license, so we know she won't be a judge again. But she shouldn't be hurting for cash either. Last year, she started collecting a $99,000 a year state pension. From the newsroom this noon, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, and we're turning.